could you solve a problem like Maria? Welcome back to Nadine in a Bottle. Oh my goodness, what an insane past like two days this has been. Extina released her Accelerate single and music video, which I actually did a reaction video to, and I've linked it down below for your viewing pleasure. I am really overwhelmed. I can't even express to you how overwhelmed I was the day she released Accelerate. Today, I am recording my video reaction to the newly released Where's Maria. I don't know what this is. I have a feeling it's gonna be like I don't know, maybe like a little sampler, if you will, a taste of what is to come. I'm nervous, I'm so excited, and I cannot wait to watch. So without further ado, I just have to watch this. Let's just dive in. I don't know why we hurt ourselves. Oh. To please <gasps> perception. Yes. I'm sorry to my own reflection. I'm sorry for putting you down. I'm sorry oh. I struggle accepting the beauty that lies in myself. Oh! I'm not anti-social, I'm anti-bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> my <favorite>. There is <laughs> just New motto. this longing for strength and to inspire and change. I'm actually really moved by that beginning. Yeah, you get to place where you feel so comfortable and so routine. Then, oh. you know... This clip. And start from scratch. Okay, so we've seen that clip. Oh, girl, she's lighting some candles. <laughs> I remember that little snippet. I was like, she's gonna burn all of her past looks. It's a liberation. <laughs> she's lighting some candles. That allows you to That's how close and personal we get in my house. Stop, PP Tina. <laughs> Your journey and who you are. You can always tell who the strong women are. Um, Honey, we can. Looking at one right now. I love this men's shirt. Oh, intuitive. I'm the, the hospital bracelet. I'm me. Yes to the champagne. She's like, I've just gotten my hair done. Rich bitch, your body necklace. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's so much happening. I need to pause and look. Being okay to strip back and being able to be vulnerable in a new way. I was born in Staten Okay, girl, well, your hair still looks pretty fucking fierce when you've taken the wig off. I was expecting, like, some, like, ratchet-ass, like, broken pieces. It was, like, pretty nice. ...later that she gave up what she wanted to do in life. Oh. Maybe in a way. I was very grounded at a very young age to know that I was never going to be weak to a man and that I didn't want that fairy tale. Oh. Oh. A Crystals. It was something different. Treat yourself, queen. To freedom for me was being able to be fearless and strong. So now we know where she filmed her liberation tour visuals, girl. I really feel like in a past life, I must have been a porn star. Am I right? Uh, you're right, bitch! Nothing is free. Supposed to face this lonely life I created. The inspiration of the album, to me, the purest of reasons is to get back to that little girl who just wants to be inspired again by truth. Cute room. Summer has it made, honey. Music and singing and just feeling free. Oh my God. And alive again. Uh, who you are again. <gasps> what you have to say. The Extina bionic ring. I'm sorry for covering your freckles. Aww. I'm sorry for hiding your scars. I'm sorry that I put you down. I'm willing to let you free now. Aww. Fuck it. This is who I am. And <laughs> whoever's not on board can suck my dick. <laughs> and if you don't like it. Oh, okay. So. 
first of all, my initial thought watching this is this is so beautiful. This is so emotional. This like really actually made me want to cry, especially at the beginning. Um, but what I'm realizing now is in my other video where I'm talking about her concert in Baku, um, I was like, oh my God, yes, she must have been like on location in Hawaii filming this video, yes, like with all the like little cherry blossoms and like it looked like she was in like the, on, in, the in a pool at a resort. The bitch was literally in her backyard. They literally filmed those reactions in the backyard. Slay. Oh my gosh. Um, that was so beautiful. Really, really was. I, I kind of wish that this came before Accelerate. Um, just because this really set such a tone. But at the same time, like, I'm, I am happy that Accelerate came out. And then after seeing this, this is kind of like what happened with Strip when Dirty came out. A lot of people were like, oh my god, what is this? This is just like, you know... This is like empty pop, you know, people who just didn't get it. And then she came up with Beautiful and it was like, oh, okay, there's a mul there's multi dimensions to this woman. Cause you know, women typically are just, you know, put into little boxes and they have to act how, you know, they can act only one characteristic. But what I loved about this is Christina's like really showing us such a vulnerable side, such a real side, a brave side. I feel like with the Lotus era, that's kind of what she was trying to do, but obviously there was still a lot of glam, a lot of makeup, a lot of hair, a lot of costumes, a lot of looks, a lot of like, you know, really, really over the top uh, produced, like high octane images. And I think maybe there was a bit of pressure, maybe from a record label for her to kind of, you know, really push out these like, you know, crazy looks and stuff. And like, I don't know. I just, I feel like this is a little bit maybe more authentic to her. She's saying that like, you need to scrap everything and start over and like you need to just start from the beginning and so I feel like this is the beginning You know like this is the beginning. I am truly getting the sense that she is like fully fully Starting fresh and I was literally just about to say she seems liberated like as if I use that word Like even before Christina came out with this album title, but yeah, she's liberated. She's like Enjoying her life. I loved that those scenes with Summer. That was so cute. Loved. Oh my gosh. Any shots of her home, I'm like, I'm like freeze framing it just for like any recognition of like some nostalgic moments. I love that she has the rich bitch necklace from your body. I love that she has that Extina bionic ring still. Well, I would have loved some more like nostalgic moments, like what things she has like framed, you know what I mean? Other than the Etta James picture, obviously, which was iconic. This was so great. I'm just like a bit of an emotional mess after this. I really, when she was like writing in her diary or her journal, um, that was really beautiful. I love love the little monologues, the little like poems and soliloquies. Soliloquies a poem? Yeah, whatever. Um, and you know what is so funny too? I got a few comments being like, you guessed it. And I was like, what are they talking about? But yeah, in my video where I was talking about the X6 era, I can't even remember which video it was, but I'll, I'll try to link it down below. I was referencing Lady Gaga's Joanne album. And I was like, oh my God, imagine if Christina named her album Maria you know, like after her middle name. And there's actually like an intro titled, Where's Maria? And then a song called Maria. And I just want to basically answer Xena's question. Girl, Maria is in track three, <laughs> right after the intro where you're asking where she is. The bitch is in track three. Um, but I'm so happy Christina gave us this. I feel like this was a gift. I really do. This was truly Christina mess. This this is what I really needed. This little mini documentary magical moment. I really needed this because, you know, even though she came up with that billboard interview, which I haven't had a chance to read yet, bad fighter, tisk tisk. I feel like she has been gone for a while. And the way that she kind of jumped back in was like a shock to everybody's systems because we've like missed her for so long. And I feel like this was like the, okay, now that I've like slapped you across the face, like the bitch that you are, here is my welcome to you. Oh my gosh, what was your favorite part of this video? Like, how can I even like ask a question like that? I loved her peeing. That was like a shock. Um, I just loved her writing in her journal for sure. And I loved the red lit room with the men's shirt. I loved that. 
Um, but what was yours? And do you love Accelerate? If you didn't love it at first, has it grown on you? Like, it's okay if you didn't love the song. Just because you love an artist doesn't mean you have to love everything they do. It's art, it's subjective. You take what you want, you leave what you don't. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about the song, the music video. Sound off on anything, Xtina. I will be glad to chime in with you. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching and thanks for watching my reaction video. <laughs>